in this video we are going to discuss about classes of routing protocols so what are the classes of routing protocols so you see here the classes start with distance vector protocol so what is a distance vector protocol a distance vector protocols can be categorized in two things so what are the two things the first thing is they use distance as a measure of the cost of a route so the cost of a route is measured in the form of a distance and also the number of hops in between the router and destination network determines the distance so after measuring the cost of a route in distance then the number of hops in between the router and the destination network determines the distance of that cost of the route so they periodically send entire routing table and after sending the routing table then about the neighboring routers and also the receiving router receives the information about all the routes and the distances between them the distance vector protocols are slower to converge so they are slow in performance and a network is considered converged when all the routers has the information of the destination routers information so this is done in the distance vector protocol the second one is link state protocol so the link state protocols are characterized in three things so what are the three things they form a neighbor relationship with the routers before sending the routing information to the neighbor routers and also they do not send out any routing information to the entire neighbors of the routers because you see here in case of distance vector protocol we send the information but in link still we don't send because first they have to establish the connections between the neighbors and information related to the neighbors are stored in a separate table called neighbor table and they only exchange the connectivity related information or link state information in a separate topology table so that the network topology is built in that table so each and every related to the network topology is available in that table so here you have routing table you have topology table you have neighboring table so link state protocol have three types of tables and the information of this link states neighbors and the routing information is available in this tables the third one here is the hybrid protocol so what is a hybrid protocol it has the features of the distance vector protocol as well as link state protocol so the best example here would be eigrp for the hybrid protocols which is enhanced interior gateway routing protocol so we will be discussing about eigrp in the next videos so that we will be discussing about the features of eigrp and how many tables available in it so that it has information of all the uh, distance vector and link state also available here